I'm Scott Naylor from Consort Motorhomes uh, and I'd like to show you our Oslo 6.3 6 meter van. So as you come into the van what you'll see is both seats swivel, very important, optimize the uh, space in the cab area. Uh, this also creates a small dinette area creating a dual zone. So not only have you got the lounge but you've also got this seating area here which works particularly well. So the other important thing to note is that when you do have both seats that swivel that you have this raised floor. So we've got this nice curve on this raised floor and it means that you have got the, the floor coming up to meet your feet as the cab area is slightly higher than the rest of the van. So this raised floor also means that you've got scope here to have a little dinette table which is stored above here and that will allow you to have uh, a, a breakfast area or a small dinette uh, at the front of the van as well as the uh, dining area that's at the, the, the rear of the van in the lounge area. The tables are stowed above the cab, there's a little hold that receives those so they sit in there so they won't fly out. Um, so that works, that works well uh, in terms of storing the, the tables up there. So this is a 6.36 metre van, so 360 mil longer than our reef model, so just over a foot longer. Um, but it means that we can get this really large fridge. This is nigh on 160 litres is this fridge. So this massive fridge area, massive uh, freezer. So you've got loads of space there. This will take wine, milk, juice, that kind of thing. So lots of storage in there, a really big fridge. You won't see uh, many van conversions with a fridge uh, as big as that. So that works really well, this fridge area here. The little bit of stowage underneath there and access to the fuse board as well. So swivel seats, raised floor, dinette, huge fridge freezer, uh, which then leads us into this kitchen area here. Now this is probably one of the biggest kitchens and the kitchen work surface that you'll see in any motorhome, never mind uh, a van conversion. So the extra 360 mil, we've actually put an extra cupboard in here from our reef model and that creates all this extra workspace here. So this is really, even without the flips at the side, we have a flip here and we also have a drop down section here which will receive the drainer tray and the draining uh, system that we have. Uh, again, huge size uh, sink with uh, domestic size washing up bowl. Power where you need it. White clean splash back here. So this is all waterproof and splash resistant on the, the back uh, of the sink area. Um, three burner hob, grill, full oven and then our pantry drawer which again is ideal for uh, tin product, cereal, that kind of thing. So really good storage under the oven. You have the additional uh, 360 mil in this cupboard here so again you've got extra storage in that cupboard and then you've also got the cutlery drawer the crockery drawer and the pan drawer as you have in the reef and the kite models. So super sized kitchen, uh, complemented by the huge fridge freezer, uh, very well ventilated as say the, the, the oven is away from the lounge area, very well ventilated but with the hecky uh, roof light above and then additional top box this is a really great top box space for tea coffee kettles that kind of thing so extra storage um, you'll struggle to find a kitchen as good as this in any motorhome uh, this really is a fabulous kitchen area uh, so if you if you like cooking uh, then this is really a, a great space to work with so we'll take you through into the lounge so you'll see here again this super um, U-shaped lounge, um, 
back cushions at the right height, nice shelf at the back, um, privacy windows uh, all the way around, double glazed privacy windows, um, they all open so great for ventilation. Uh, you'll see all this extra um, top box, traditionally van conversions just have these kind of bench seats side by side, uh, no boot space, no wrap round lounge and no storage at the back so this by, by building it in, designing it in this way, not only does it make it more comfortable, more relaxing, uh, it also creates extra storage as well. There's storage under this side for your bedding, the boiler and pump and other utilities are on this side. So, um, this back piece here also means that you're not sleeping with your head up against the back of the van, uh, the back of the van doors. It also stops the cushions from falling out and it, it also means that you've got this little shelf space here which is really handy if you just want to put a drink on there as well. So very uh, comfortable, very luxurious lounge. The bed system goes together really really quickly um, so we'll show you how that works shortly. As we come from this lounge area here, you've got scope for your TV with a TV shelf there. This is then the wardrobe area here, um, which has a mirror, uh, really good uh, on the other side, uh, really good hanging space or shelf space if you prefer. Uh, the washroom is in here, so we've got a tip down basin, a Thetford bench loo, a separate shower tap, um, it really uh, and ventilation which is very important in a van conversion so there's a proper hecky in there so you get plenty of uh, ventilation if you're using the shower and also uh, in the summer it can get quite warm in there if there's no proper roof light. So the washroom works really well um, and then that takes us round to this extra storage at the back here so we'll show you how that works. So at the back of the Oslo we've got this huge boot which is great for chairs, barbecues, chocks, hookup cables, muddy boots, all that kind of stuff. So huge amount of storage, uh, really deep boot space uh, on the back of this uh, U-shaped lounge. Also some handy storage at the top there, this works well for your hookup cable, your hose pipe, little tool bag, that kind of thing. Uh, toilet chemical, it's extra free space and it utilises this little curve in the back of the van. So really handy storage, huge boot. Um, if you're coming from a coach bill or you, you know, you, you, you've had a van conversion without storage before, this is a real bonus. So one of the first questions people ask is how easy is it to put the bed up? Uh, well I'll show you really quickly how, how this bed goes together. You've got this simple pull-out system that slides out there, locks onto there, this slides out there. You can literally do this with a finger, one finger. That drops into there, half of this drops into there. So very, very quickly this area here becomes a huge, super king-size bed. So this bed is over six foot three long and it's over six foot wide. So it's a really big comfy bed. The other thing that you can do with our Reef and Oslo models is you can just have these as single beds. So this area here would create one single and the other area would have, uh, this side would also be a single. If you wanted to have the bed a little bit bigger, if you were using this as a single bed arrangement, where your body is at the top, you can just pull one of these pull-outs and utilise this area here where your body is and it still gives you scope to swing your legs out if you do need to nip to the loo or uh, get in and out of bed. It does make access in and out of the bed a lot easier but it means that where your body is you've got well over three feet of bed space uh, and your feet down at the bottom and then in this area here. So you've got options with the bed, you can have it as just bench singles, you can have it as uh, wider singles at the top with scope to swing your legs out or you can have it as one huge super king size. Again in the morning goes back 
very simply this section on there, that section on there. And then back to the lounge. So for the sake of you know a few seconds just putting the bed together, it does give you the bonus of having this nice big comfy relaxing lounge area. So the washroom is very very straightforward. You have the Thetford cassette bench loo across there. We've got a separate shower in the reef, a separate shower tap, and then we have the tip down basin uh, which comes down to give you a nice big user friendly wash basin and then uh, a nice cabinet that opens on there as well so very very simple solid shower tray basin that tips down and the Thetford loo uh, across the bench so this wet room effectively um, can wipe down after you've had your shower very importantly we've got a huge hecky in here which gives you lots of ventilation so that's a really important feature on a van conversion.